Would you like some French toast? Yes, please. What shape? Square is fine. All right. So, what do you say we get started? After breakfast. I'm full. So how are you feeling about the new company? I feel good. Wow. You excited about the new company? Yeah, I'm excited to start the company. After breakfast. We did that. So what's next? Michael, just stop for a second. Michael, stop for a no, second. No, I'm whipping him. No, just I know you are. Just let, let me oh, have... Oh, just give me... Fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is going to be a very good year. Very good. Jan is at home. Jim is back. My protege Ryan is at corporate. Good stuff. Um, Andy and Dwight are rocking the sales team. I feel very blessed. Everybody in the conference room. I don't care if you are gay or straight or a lesbian or overweight. Just get in here right now. And the same thing goes for quarterly reports. They are unreadable. They're just numbers and boring and black. So what I was thinking is that maybe we should have some sort of graphic, like if we have a bad quarter, put in a storm cloud. And when we have a good quarter, fireworks or a race car. Doesn't have to be a race car. Use your imagination. There's this cube on the screen, and it bounces around all day, and sometimes it looks like it's heading right into the corner of the screen, and then at the last minute it hits a wall and bounces away. And we are all just dying to see it go right into the corner. Pam claims that she saw it one day when she was alone in the conference room. Okay. <laughs> I believe she thinks she saw it. I saw it. I saw it, and it was amazing. Who said I didn't see it? Did Jim say that I didn't see it? I saw it! We have a lot of colored paper here. Why, oh, why do we keep printing this on white? No, oh, come on! Yeah, I know. I know, it's bland. It's never gonna happen. Dude, Dude here's what I was you gotta believe. Maybe we could have some sort of riddle. Wait for it. Like something that you have to look for. Sort of a where's Waldo? Oh! <laughs> All right, let's quit while we're ahead. That was so awesome. That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Some days I am just on fire. Why can't I say? <laughs> no one uh, asked you anything ever, so whomever's name is Toby, why don't you take a letter opener and stick it into your skull? Hey! Dunder Mifflin, this is Aaron. He's not available right now. Uh-huh. Yes. Sure, I'll give him a message when he gets up. Gets back. Michael had chicken pot pie for lunch. Actually, let me rephrase that. Michael had an entire chicken pot pie for lunch. And let me be more specific. Michael ate an entire family-sized chicken pot pie for lunch, and then he promptly fell asleep. So we're all trying to be very quiet so as to not wake him up before 5 p.m., which actually should be in about... Ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go in there and change the computer. Are you sure you can change his watch? I can do it. What do you need from me? Normally I don't condone leaving early, but I have an appointment with the horse doctor. How that horse became a doctor, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's just a regular doctor who shoots your horse in the head when its leg is broken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like clockwork. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, it's so funny. You had to be there. Oh, okay. Geography joke. <laughs> oh, my, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's all go home. Come on. See you all to Molly. See you later, Michael. <laughs> yeah! Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Oh, hi, Jan. He's uh, on a sales call. No message? Bye, Jan. That's interesting. Wow. 
Wow, it's a little early for ice cream tonight. <laughs> it's never too early for ice cream, Jim. But we didn't have any ice cream. So this is mayonnaise and black olives. Oh, oh my It's God. comfort food, all right? Oh. Hey, it looks great, babe. Yeah, it really does. I know Jan didn't poison the food. I know that. But if she was going to poison the food of someone at that table, wouldn't it be me? Michael's former lover. Will you not do that? It's disgusting. You know I have soft teeth. How could you say that? Oops. Excuse me for a second. So, how do you guys know each other? I was his babysitter. And now you guys are dating? Purely carnal, that's all you need to know. Would you write down your email? Because I have just so many questions. Email? Never mind. Everybody enjoying their meal? Okay, let's get right into it. I need two people for the first ooh, scene. Ooh, 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 Mr. Kate! Mr. Kate! Okay, Michael, and... Anybody? How about Mary Beth? <laughs> Come on. Okay, so you start us off, Mary Beth. La, 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 la. Boom! Detective Michael's card! I'm with the FBI! Think about this. What is the most exciting thing that can happen on TV or in movies or in real life? Somebody has a gun. That's why I always start with a gun, because you can't top it. You just can't. I'm supposed to meet my doctor here. <laughs> Have you seen him? He's a very angry midget. Boom! Freeze! Michael Schoon, FBI. You know what you did. Boom! Boom! Uh Boom! Yeah, you thought you could get away with your little ruse, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, you didn't, because I know where you hid the diamonds. I've been on to you and your little friends for weeks. Boo! 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 I'm not boo. even in the scene! Boo! Stop. I can't! Boo! Stop! Boo. Stop. Boo. They're not, stop! Boo! Okay, she shot me. Great. What? Stop. Why? Okay, you can't just shoot everyone in the scene. Well, if you hadn't stopped the scene, you would have seen where it was going. Okay, what about the scene they set up? Boring. No, it wasn't. No more guns. Could have no. No, Michael, why don't you give me all the guns you have? Just get rid of all your guns and give them to me. Great. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. What a cute bench. Thanks, that's my bed. Mm. Jan has uh, some space issues, so I curl up on that puppy. Really? Because it seems pretty narrow and yeah. short. It's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Look at this. Ah. See? He fits perfectly. 